Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a question on how to solve trigonometric equations. Solve for theta in the equation 12 cosine squared of theta minus 7 cosine of theta plus 1 is equal to 0 for the range 0 to 180 degrees for the values of theta. I want us to consider this. So you can see we have cosine squared of theta in the first term and cosine of theta in the second term. So we can let cosine of theta be some unknown. For example, let cosine of theta be x. Therefore, substituting in this equation, we'll have 12x squared for this first part, minus 7x, and then plus 1 is equal to 0. So the task here is to solve this quadratic equation. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. Here, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 12, b is negative 7, and c is 1. And therefore, in the quadratic formula, we'll say x is equal to negative b, and b is negative 7, so the negative of negative 7 is positive 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 7 squared, is positive 49. Remember, we are squaring negative and also 7. So negative squared is positive, 7 squared is 49. So that's why we have positive 49. And then we'll have minus 4ac, that is 4 times 12, which is 48. 48 times c, which is 1. That is still 48. And then on the denominator, we have twice a, that is 2 times 12, which is 24. And this will simplify further to 7 plus or minus 49 minus 48 is 1, so the square root of 1 is 1. And then denominator, we have 24. The first value of x is obtained by addition, so 7 plus 1, which is 8, 8 over 24, that is a third. And the next value of x is 7 minus 1, which is 6, 6 over 24, that is 1 over 4. So with the values of x, we can go back to the point where we had let. So cosine of theta, we know is x, and we've already obtained the values of x here. So for the first case, you can say cosine of theta is equal to x and x is a third. And therefore, the value of theta is obtained by finding the cosine inverse of a third. And that should give us 70.53. And considering this, if we have the unit circle, all ratios in the first quadrant are positive. In the second quadrant, it's only sine which is positive. In the third quadrant, only tangent positive, the rest are negative. And in the fourth quadrant, it's only cosine which is positive and the rest are negative. So when you come to this point, we realize that 70.53 lies in the first quadrant and then cosine of theta of course is positive and because it's positive it needs to be in the first quadrant and again in the fourth quadrant because here cosine is positive but from the range that we are given theta ranges between 0 and 180 and here we'll have the angle greater than 180 and therefore we are not going to consider the angle in the fourth quadrant. Therefore, we only consider the acute angle in the first quadrant, which we already have as 70.53. And that will be when you consider x as a third. And if we consider x as a quarter, then we'll say cosine of theta, which is equal to x, and x is a quarter. Therefore, theta becomes, so when you get the cosine inverse of a quarter, that should be 75.52. Again, 
it lies in the first quadrant and again cosine here is positive it lies in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant but in the fourth quadrant the value of theta will be greater than 180 but in the range here we have 0 up to 180 so we will not consider again the angle in the fourth quadrant and therefore we will only have 75.52 degrees these are in degrees so the values for theta finally are 70.53 degrees and 75.52 degrees and that is how we go about this question and thank you for watching see you in the next one